Now this is the future. We building it brick by brick, city roots. Now we live in it, big tech boutique style. We set the benchmark to play by. Don't complain that the setting's too high. New definition of a maximum. Upload it to your lexicon. Upgrade it with the highest rated. It looks so good and make your eyes melt. This, this is a new evolution. Moore's law is no more a nuisance. It's all execution. A disruptive revolution. Tighten the game with your seatbelts. Hit it. We're going live and we vibing. 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 We
ZZ Top cover band, uh, which is very exciting. Um, What's up, everyone? I can only How's assume. I can only assume, Brent. That's why you're growing the beard out. Uh, you know, getting ready for that fall tour, folks. If you're interested, they are. They'll be playing the Shrewsbury Orchard Sunday at one thirty. <laughs> Tickets are free with every half bushel of apples presented at the uh, ticket gate. Very exciting. All right. We had a, uh, you know, we realized, <laughs> we realized over the last couple episodes that we didn't really get too deep into hardware. We've been talking about a lot of random things it, the past it, couple it's weeks. It's been a little um, hardware slow, I guess, lately. Cause yeah. There's so much stuff that came out um, over the last couple months with uh, NVIDIA and AMD and Intel that um, it, it has been a bit of a drought lately, so... Um, what did you want to talk about today? Well, today we actually have a pretty hardware-packed show. Uh, the meat and potatoes, if you will, the, the bulk of the show today, we are going to be breaking down USB. Oh, that sounds super exciting. The universal <laughs> serial bus. No, no let me, for real, though. I consider myself a tech guy. You guys know more than I do. I mean, we're three pretty, you know, when it comes to technology, we have a, a firm grasp on it. We do. Okay. Okay. When we decided to break down USB and discuss not only, you know, USB 4 getting announced this week, but it's also, it's uh, it's Ajay or AJ, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but uh, AJ Bot, the co-inventor of USB, turned 61 today. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Ajay. I think it, it's either AJ or Ajay. I'm butchering it. But... You should just not say his name. Okay. It does look like AJ, though. It could be, but uh, who really knows? Um, he probably does. He He might. He might. I would hope so. Yeah, let's hope so. But, uh, you know, when I said to you, like, Ron, let's, I'm realizing that not a lot of people know all the different USB technologies, and it's changing constantly. So I thought, let's talk about it on the stream. And then you and I got into a very passionate debate. Uh, wow, knives were passionate. pulled. Um, and, uh, yeah, we, I, neither, neither one of us, we realized we don't have a full understanding of USB. So we're going to break that down today. Um, did you do your homework? No, I, and so <laughs> so I figured because I knew you were over reading for this. Yeah, I did. I had to do a lot of reading. Um, I was very confused. I figured I'd go in a little cold with just the knowledge I had, so I can get educated. This okay. stream, I'm actually pretty excited. I oh well, well this is gonna. I'm we'll gonna see. be getting educated as well. Uh, but we do have a lot of hardware to talk about today. Uh, we've got some. Uh, you know, some interesting things uh, that were announced uh, from Intel as well and AMD. Um, we know the Apple keynote is uh, Tuesday, September 10th. So right around the corner, the uh, the new <laughs> iPhone. Ron, Ron is very much an iPhone fan. Yeah, Ron, Ron, Ron can't stand the Apple devices. <laughs> no, we'll, we'll talk yeah, about Yeah, we'll that. get into it. Where, where do you want to start? Let's right? start with uh, we, every, I feel like the past couple of weeks we've been starting with uh, Twi with stream, streamer streaming service updates. Uh, Twitch was in the news. Mixer was in the news. Ninja was in the news again. Ron, you want to take us through the, uh, the, the, the developments there? Yeah, I, I think let's start with the Ninja story because I think it's um, particularly interesting. So we, we had covered that Ninja got picked up as a Mixer exclusive streamer. So basically, you know, I'm sure they, you know, Microsoft gave him probably a ton of money to come over to the platform. Right. And he left Twitch and he's streaming exclusively on Mixer. Uh, Mixer. So this week we kind of got a bit of a, you know, an issue with that relationship. So uh, Ninja got the opportunity to exclusively stream Gears of War 5 for the first time. So he's the first person that'll ever stream this game. Yeah. It's, when does it even come out to the public? Do you I know? I don't know the date. Okay. Uh, Brent can look that up. But um, Was he wearing I an Adidas tracksuit? He probably was wearing an Adidas tracksuit. Is he only going to stream in Adidas tracksuits now? I hope so. Okay. Um, But so the controversy is basically... Yeah, the release date is today. Oh, it's today. Okay. okay. So the, the controversy that happened is... You know, he said, oh, thanks for Microsoft for making this happen. But I think it's pretty clear with the relationship that this is probably part of his sponsorship that, you know, as a Microsoft streamer who is also not just the company that owns Mixer, but obviously um, releases video games, mm -hmm. um, that, you know, this was essentially an ad for Gears of War that Microsoft kind of technically paid for right um and he didn't disclose that directly like you're supposed to he didn't disclose that he was that the whole thing was basically a paid ad exactly and and the and the loophole there being that he's under contract with microsoft well i mean we're making we're making like assumptions right so, right is he considered like a microsoft employee at this point 
That's so that's where this gets super <laughs> weird. Why does it get weird though? What's the problem with him playing a game that's happens to be developed by the company that's behind the streaming service? So because he's not like a representative of Microsoft, like it's not like um, a Microsoft owned channel. Okay. Um, you know, he's a, a influencer, right? Okay. Um, you know, there's guidelines in place because of um, not wanting to misrepresent things that you need to disclose, like, you know, you need to Instagram, ta hashtag an Instagram post if you're paid for it. Right. To reveal that it's an ad because it's it's disingenuous to your audience that, you know, oh, he, he might hate the game, but he's going to talk positively about it. Because he's being paid. paid. Okay, I see what you're saying. Because to me, it's no different than, say, like, you know, a late night talk show host who, let's say, you know, he Jimmy Kimmel on ABC. A lot of his guests are going to be TV uh, and movie stars that are promoting other ABC of course, shows. But they're in the movie. Right, it's right. Not like okay. A, it's not like they like if a like a film critic came on that show. Right, and, and I guess they own the network and the show. Right. So and so like if a film critic came on and they were paid to talk about that movie and didn't say it and they reviewed it positively. Perfect. Like yes. that's not and that makes perfect sense to me. So yeah, and, and that's that's really the kind of the issue with this. Jake said, "Are you saying this is an end game of corporate synergy?" <laughs> <laughs> synergy. <laughs> Jake just wanted to say synergy, <laughs> but it's, sound all smart. So this is a very weird situation that we haven't seen before because, um, because he's being paid to be on their platform, and and I think it's pretty obvious that if they're doing that, they're going to have him promote games sure. that they're releasing. Right. And this needs to be really clear. I mean, his audience. Um, I don't know the exact metrics, but I would assume it skews younger. Right, and they might not be aware they're going to buy anything that Ninja says is awesome. Right. Yeah, I could see both sides of it. Uh, you know, whether this is as big a deal as you're making it sound or they're making it sound, I don't know. Ah. I, ah. So I guess like, um, you know, as I work in marketing, right? So um, I kind of deal with this stuff a lot because um, it's really a complicated space, right? So we always, especially with like our Be Next program, try to work with real content creators that give true, like, a, you know, a objective um, reviews of our products and are interested in them and not just say, you know, paying people to, to say good things about our stuff. Right. But it's a, it's a pretty big problem across the whole tech industry. Like, like who can you trust? You know, so much stuff has moved to YouTube. Um, who can you trust specifically? Um, it's true. To I, give like right. a, give an opinion. And I think it's more emblematic of like the, the whole issue with the industry itself. You said something to me that I'll never forget when I was asking you like what kind of headphones I should buy and what you know you told me you watch a lot of YouTube like headphone reviews but that you never click on the videos with the millions and millions of views. Those are the ones I tend to click on yeah. but those are also the most likely videos to have someone bought and paid for. In a lot of cases I mean right? it, it depends like there's tons of great YouTubers and like we've worked with a lot of great people. Right. Like, you know MKBHD and um, guys like Linus Tech Tips and things that are um, you know, honest with their stuff, but there's also the complete opposite of that on the internet. And so right. you just have to be very careful with this stuff. And so I think it's important to shine a spotlight on it, especially to younger, um, the younger generation. So they know what they're, what they're watching and that it's all not. Are there any signs for the younger generation? Are there any signs where if you're watching a video, you should be weary of the recommendation being made? Maybe that this person's, I mean, obviously you said, look for the yeah. sponsored post or the hashtag ad or the blatant advertisement you know written somewhere in the context so i i think a general rule of thumb and this comes with any review is to read a lot right don't ever just base a purchase on a single review i mean single source even right. when i go on amazon i you know you read through the five stars but you also read through all the one stars and you right. try to gauge why people were unhappy um and i think that's probably the best course of action there's so much content on the internet and if you if there's a general consensus, I think you can be very comfortable purchasing something. But if it's everybody hates something, but you know, YouTuber Bob is like, this is the best thing ever. It's a pretty good sign that he's right. probably wrong. Right. Uh, I mean, things are subjective, right? Um, people well, have different tastes. Yeah, but. like things being out of place, like Ninja not playing Fortnite and playing literally any other game, <laughs> right? Right. Something's off. <laughs> Something is off. With that. Something's very wrong. Uh, Twitch was also in the news uh, a bit this week. And how is this not our offbeat story of the week? Because I've got an even more offbeat story of the week. But actually, I want to lead with something that's not even in the show notes that I was just reading about um, that I think is actually a bigger deal than the Mixer ordeal. Um, 
you guys familiar with a Twitch streamer by the name of Tfue or Tfue? Tfue? Yeah, yeah. So I'm not I'm not too well versed on him, but he's apparently like the second biggest streamer on Twitch. He's a big Fortnite streamer. Yes. He uh, said some inappropriate things on his stream this past week. Very inappropriate things. Um, Brent, do you want to repeat what he said? Uh, I don't no. know if I'm the right race to repeat that. <laughs> so the, uh, so Tfue said some inappropriate <laughs> things. We don't have to talk specifically about that. Um, <laughs> I wasn't going to, Ron. They give me the death stare. Uh, but anyway, uh, this apparently is his third strike, right? He's been, right, he's been right. temporarily suspended twice for the same shenanigans. And now this is what would be his third strike. And twi uh, Twitch's no-nonsense terms of service says... Three strikes and you're out. Permanent ban. Yeah, and there's a and and now do. Twitch is kind of just saying nothing about this. And it, it asks the question, you know, are they going to ban permanently one of their biggest money makers, or are they going to yeah. brush this under the carpet? And I think this is could really define the service here, how they handle this. It's, it's a pretty big deal. It's such a weird situation because, um, you know, we've seen this a lot with streamers and content creators, like live streaming brings such an interesting problem as a content creator. I can't wear crop um, tops, for example. Exactly. Huge problem I have. Well, with. you also can't edit anything out. Right. Right. And, yeah. and it, you know, it's, 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 I think it's easier than people think to mess up too. Yeah, it is. Um, it's, it's in really, really, really interesting. I'm curious what Twitch is going to do in this situation. Me too. Maybe Microsoft will pay a bunch of money. And our, uh, <laughs> our, uh, yeah. our, our, our resident uh, gearhead, Jake, had an interesting theory. He says, I don't think Twitch is going to get rid of this guy. He's making them too much money. But I think what he, what he thinks they're going to do is they're going to revamp. He's, they're going to say something about how, oh, we took this as an opportunity to revisit our whole policy, our whole streaming awesome. guidelines, and then maybe change things around just to make this, you know, somehow allowed. But yeah, I don't know. It's it's going to be interesting because it does it does set the tone. I mean, if, let's be honest. If this guy w had 15 followers and did this. Three, I mean, nobody you know, would have seen it. So no one would have seen yeah. it, but he'd have been, you know, his channel would have been removed instantly. Um, you know, it, it asks which, an, a serious question. Which is kind of why I think Twitch needs like a third party reviewer. Some oversight, a yeah. not like a non biased oversight is yeah. what you're saying. Brett, are you suggesting some sort of government organization that <laughs> monitors the airwaves to uh, have control over Twitch content? Yeah, that'd be cool if something like that maybe existed. You know, call it like, I don't know, the federal communication, I don't know. <laughs> company or something Do you know the last word <laughs> i think it's company i i realized i couldn't finish that joke because you know i genuinely don't know what fcc so stand. i was in the <laughs> commission same, federal communication commission i was in the Damn. same position but i forgot it was two c's so i didn't say anything <laughs> so i at least appreciate that you were able to make the joke i i get the ftc fcc and fda confused and then there's s s -E -C scc and s scc uh, yeah. yeah too many I mean, too many the fcc is they're selling out our internet speed so i don't know if <laughs> they're, they're the right organization <laughs> right 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 yeah well and uh yeah in so other Nick, i'm pretty hungry right now are you could you by any chance maybe go for a five dollar foot long sub <laughs> this is weird man uh twitch <laughs> this and is, sandwich this shop is so dumb this is dumb right this you said so it not dumb. me twitch what and, are they doing? Uh, world renowned, everyone's favorite, Sam. When you're really craving a fresh. Maybe least favorite? <laughs> I don't know about you, Ron, but when I'm craving a fresh sub like Mama used to make, I run to my <laughs> local subway. I would go with most readily accessible. So, uh, that's yeah. a nice politically correct uh, way of maybe, saying it. Maybe, maybe globally. Globally accessible. Yeah. yeah. Subway. Have you ever seen how they put the meat on a sandwich at Subway? I try not to watch. They peel the slices one at a time and count them like they're putting $100 bills on the sandwich. <laughs> Just slap on some meat. You know, See, they, God forbid they put an extra piece, they'll go back and take it out. I like, would imagine, I would have expected you to be a Subway fan. I, I don't hate Subway, but it's not where I'm going to go if I'm craving like a really good sub. So wait, they're, why, they're why are we terrible. talking about Subway? We're talking, yeah, thank you, Brent. Delicious. For, thank you. I could have done 45 more minutes on sandwich shops. <laughs> uh, it's September. Hello. That's why we're talking about sandwich oh shops. Gosh. Twitch decided to partner with Subway. Evidently, things didn't work out with Jared. And... Uh, <laughs> 
and uh, they are Mike. announcing September. Uh, there's, it just doesn't mean a whole lot. Let's it be honest. It doesn't seem to mean anything. It doesn't mean a whole lot of anything. Uh, Can I get a Subway sandwich if I watch Twitch? No. There That's are... what I would I would be excited about. This that. sounds like somebody in the marketing department came up with a pun and then was like, we have to do That's this. That's exactly <laughs> it. Like, wait, 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 wait a minute. We offer Twitch Prime subs? Subs? Sandwiches? Subway? I'm yes, so September. <laughs> um, I'm, sure, yeah. I'm reading this because I don't even understand. It's not that exciting. Starting September 3rd third through the 24th september 3rd the message yeah. is so bad in partnership with subway we're offering 50 percent off new tier one subscriptions made on a web browser or desktop app desktop app um yeah no it's really not that exciting there's gonna be oh there's gonna be custom emotes now like little probably like little dancing sub sandwiches maybe i don't know maybe who knows now if i could watch a twitch stream mm -hmm. and then earn a sandwich yes I, this would be totally different if you're gonna partner with subway Maybe sandwich. involve sandwiches. Just saying, in some some way, somehow. I, like aside from the pun, there's nothing related. Or, or go to a subway and get like a voucher for a Twitch sub. Exactly. Or something. I want at least the sandwich to be in the vicinity. Yeah. Of the promotion. Yeah. No, this is a very weird partnership, and and uh, we didn't really have time to do too much digging. But you and I talked about like other companies that have done partnerships that just didn't seem to make sense. You, you had the best one. Which one did I say? The Lion King. Oh yeah, I bought bananas <laughs> the other day, and they had Lion King limited edition Lion King stickers on them, little tiny tiny stickers. You know the little ones that come on your bananas. And I thought to myself, like this banana doesn't look any different. What makes it limited edition? And realized it's just that little sticker that was all dirty and falling off. That's it's so dumb. Are people buying bananas and putting them in shadow boxes because of these limited edition Lion, <laughs> so Lion King stickers? I, I hope you guys can hear me now. They're saying that Subway is uh, Subway's probably mad at me because my audio cut out. Oh, what's your, you know, you're, that's oh, what's happening. Back. We're going to have to get to the bottom of that. I, Brent. It's because I just can't stop touching the microphone. It's my fault. I'm all over my microphone and I don't cut out. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm just electrifying. I'm, yeah, you might have some electric electricity coming <laughs> off your ESD beard. Bracelet I think on it's that, the man. beard. It's, <laughs> it is it's the not beard. an ESD safe beard. It actually beard. Yeah, it might be. It definitely is the beard. I'm actually <laughs> yeah. constantly getting shocked by this thing. Yeah. All right. So just this is dumb. I, it is dumb. But it does make me want a sandwich. I mean, if every subscription that came on maybe a few Twitch streamers streams and then they had to like eat a Subway sandwich on stream. I'd be down with I that. I mean, these are all better ideas. I, I <laughs> One off the top of my head is go sit in a Subway yeah. and see how many $5 footlongs I can consume in an hour so, live on Twitch. So Twitch, if you're <laughs> watching, um, feel free to take these ideas and revamp this entire program. Yeah. I'm, I, you agree, right? I 100%. Okay, they're 100%. yours. It's a gift. Yeah. Royalty free. Enjoy them. Take any Courtesy of these ideas. Of just thank us somewhere. Uh, have TV <laughs> thank us on his next stream. <laughs> Um, so do we want to talk about things I care about or things I don't care about? Uh, in, wait, where are we now? I'm sorry. Don't worry. Just oh, answer just generally the, asking? Answer the question. I want to talk about things you care about. Okay. So we did get some PC hardware news this week. Yes. Um, Intel formally announced that the i9-9900KS is going to be available in sometime in October, I believe. Yes. Um, it wasn't like a normal press release. I think it was like a someone on like an earnings call or something announced it. Um, the 9900KS, I think, was announced uh, earlier in the year, um, and it's basically going to be a component that they're saying will hit 5 gigahertz on all cores. Right, and I could <laughs> shed a little light on that. For those of you that don't know, when you're buying a CPU and you see the advertised turbo speed, right, and AMD is familiar with this, That's that's been in the news this week, but uh, these companies advertise the base speed and then the turbo boost speed, and uh, essentially, Turbo Boost is the maximum speed that the chip could pump into a single core. Sometimes. I, sometimes two. Sometimes two. But not more than that. Because once it, you get past yeah. that second core, it can't allocate as much speed across yeah. all. The, you know, it can't disperse it so the speed gets slower. Now, it's still boosting. But if, you're, you know, if your workload on your computer is using six cores, that Turbo is not going to be anywhere near what it's advertised because right. it has to allocate that speed across six cores. Which is why we offer overclocking where we're able to kind of manually go in and and ramp the cores right. up to those speeds so you get sustained. It's an all-core yeah. overclock, different than Turbo Boost. So they, they actually demoed, I think it was DLC from Hitman 2, just yeah. showing that it was staying at 5 gigahertz, which is pretty cool. That's pretty sweet. And the temps look pretty sweet, too. I don't know if you saw the screenshots. But... I'm, I'm always excited about new stuff. So um, faster CPU, fantastic. Yeah. Well, obviously, you know, chime in and show um, what we're 
you know what the performance is when we're able to like I, there's not really much else to no we don't have anything official we don't anything really more official to talk about um but based on the benchmarks we saw that were published the speeds are very promising it indeed does hit five gigahertz across all eight cores and you know cooling i think they were just using like a 240 aio like closed loop cooler and the temps were really promising so that's that's the part i'm personally most interested absolutely because you, you know when you get to those speeds you know it typically yeah. it pulls a lot more power which in turn means a lot more heat absolutely um so yeah i mean it, it, everything's point, looking like shaping up to be a pretty promising chip uh and i guess this is um drop in in october so that's something to look forward to yeah but uh on the cpu side too we got um an uh, announcement from amd so there's been a bunch of stuff back and forth on the new Ryzen, which we're huge fans of. Um, but there's been some reports of people not getting the turbo speed. Right. Um, it's not, it, it, it doesn't seem to be like an everyone issue. No, but it, uh, you know, seems like a decent chunk. Of it, it might be like a, it might be a board, like specific kind of thing. Um, right. Some boards did perform better than others. Yeah. Uh, so they basically acknowledged that it's there and said that shortly there will be a BIOS update that resolves the problem. So, right. Um, nothing wrong with the chip. It's probably just like a, like a BIOS revision issue. Or right. Which, you know, it's a pretty, the, the Zen 2 to Zen 3, or sorry, the, um, the Ryzen 2 to Ryzen 3 generation, uh, generational change brought on a lot of new technologies, a lot of yeah. new features. You know, find me one company that doesn't have a couple roadblocks when they launch something this so revolutionary. What I will say though, um, honestly, like, I, you know, I've, I've been in this industry for a long time. Uh, this 43 AMD, years yeah, 43 years today uh today. <laughs> <laughs> um i will say like i legitimately this was um like a very smooth launch from amd like yeah um motherboard um compatibility and ram compatibility and all that kind of stuff has been fantastic so the only questionable thing was launching on a sunday uh, well and i remember that because it was my birthday i <laughs> i do agree with that uh but, but yeah, I, I like good on them. The, like acknowledge the issue, deal with it. Um, yeah, I think that's the way to handle so it. They, so they got with all the board manufacturers, said there's going to be a BIOS update. And I think September 10th is when that yeah. BIOS update is supposed to drop, at least for as many of the boards as they can get out on and September 10th. I'm sure it took time to make sure to verify and they actually knew what the problem was, what was causing it. And, right. Um, you know, I, I know some people were upset that they didn't address it immediately, but you have to know what you're talking about in order to, exactly. to kind of deal with the problem. So yeah. Um, is it time to talk about things I don't care about? I'd love to see what you don't care about. I hope it's the one right under that. It's not. Oh, okay. um, the Apple announcement schedule oh, for yes. Tuesday, September 10th. Yes. Uh, so Apple will be announcing um, the new iPhone. That's what, well, Ron, that's a rumor now. We don't share rumors on the bench. Well, I mean, we're uninvolved <laughs> in this industry. We can discuss okay. these. Um, <laughs> yeah. To be honest with you, Yeah. I don't care at all about phones anymore why i have it, so have they has it are you, are you at the point of diminished returns yeah so um i and we'll talk about this later i just got android 10 on my pixel 2 xl okay um i am such an ios fanboy i don't even i know nothing about uh, the android operating systems i, will, I think th uh, there were like desserts and eclairs and brownies and oreos yeah. and now they're like sugary candies or some swedish fish <laughs> i don't know where we are with these android uh, os's so before we dig into rumors um I've realized re recently, because the, the leaks of the Pixel 4 came out, which we don't have on our list, but basically um, looks like the Pixel 4 is going to have like a pretty high forehead and chin. Um, so no no notch, but um, like a bigger screen mm -hmm. um, and multi cameras on the back. They've, mm -hmm. they've started leaking information about it. But what I've, what I've kind of realized is I'm like fine with my phone. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm not... And, and I'm, I was a person early on in smartphones, you know, I was on AT&T. I started with the iPhone 3G mm -hmm. um, and every year I got an iPhone. Wait a minute. You owned iPhones? Of course. I didn't know you. Owned, I thought you were always anti. No. So I, I, three, three G, uh, three GS. Yeah. Four. Okay. Um, tell me you got the five when the, one of the best, when the four S got announced, I got really frustrated because I was looking at what Android was doing with these bigger screen phones. Yeah. And it, I thought Apple was going to be like, okay, like this is clearly like a great form factor. Mm. Let's do it. They didn't. And I bought a Galaxy S2 and it didn't look bad. Oh my God. You abandoned iOS yeah. when Siri came out? That reminds me, it's, uh, we're 25 minutes into the show. It's time for our annual <laughs> ticking off of the listener. Okay, Google, Alexa, 
Hey, Siri. Ron, you were saying? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I just triggered my own device. Back to you, Ron. But so what I realized looking at the new Pixel, like I was in my head, I was like, oh, I'm going to get the new, like before it even got announced, like this leak started coming out. I'm like, okay, I'll upgrade. I think it's time. And what I realized is like, I really am upgrading now just to upgrade. Yeah. Not because I'm super excited to. Right. It's the it's like I've had this for two years. So I guess I'll get a new phone. The biggest I'm 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 you're I'm with you. I'm still using an iPhone seven. That's probably got to be close to two and a half three years old now. But um, I'm iOS all the way. I too owned Android devices, but abandoned that a while ago. Um, you know I'm a bit of an iOS fanboy. I will admit. Yeah, we um, actually argued quite a bit. Passionately. Passionate. We sat in this parking lot for upwards of an hour and a half <laughs> arguing know. Android versus iOS multiple times. But um, I, I want to see everyone watching to preference. I want to get what's going to fill the room. We're going to fill the room. What uh, guys reply in chat. What what current uh, phone do you use or just Android iOS? Yeah. You are you uh, phone are you team Apple? Are you team Android? Are yeah. you team Nick or are you team ZZ top? Brent, Brent will um, Brent get out a piece of pen and paper. I want you to keep track of this. I want to see what this <laughs> is. So I guess we're in the same boat. Like, yeah. Just I ah. find the only reason I upgrade I Apple uh, devices is the big, uh, oh, not the features. Them, they slow them down. And you can't use them anymore. <laughs> Don't start, Ron. I got my I got my tally marks. Um, no, honestly, I'm a sucker for the redesign. And that's something they don't do very often now. Every uh, two, I, at I'm this not, time, it's going to be three years. I'm not, <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I think, right? I'm not freaking out about the different camera modes and the third. I mean, they keep adding cameras to the phone. And in five years, it's just going to be a, like 19 lenses on the back of the iPhone. But uh, yeah, I don't find myself running out for the new features, but I do find myself getting very tempted when they redesign the device because I think it's already one of the nicest design products ever made. Do you agree with me on that, Ron? Oh, I mean, I from a from a production design or most, a product design. The standpoint? most frustrating part about um, using an Android mm -hmm. is the lack of polish physically on yeah. the devices. The janky buttons, the plastic and the glue, and the ugh. I mean, the Pixel's not bad. <laughs> Brent, Brent has mentioned he has a Pixel Three A. It's built pretty well. The the Pixel's the only Android phone out here. Buy. What, hold, what do you have hold here? Like a hold a flagship. What's let me hold your your flagship. All right. It's improved considerably. Yeah, but it's not. Oh God, no, man. It's not. I don't magical. know. I don't know. I'm feeling. What is this called? Glass, what is this? Glass. Uh, Sean, get out of here. I'm so heavily outnumbered by Android. Uh, fan <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling it. But you know what it is, dude? Uh, Apple made a big deal when the curved oh, glass I came I totally out. I totally agree with and, you. And and that's the first thing I'm I not, noticed holding your phone. I'm not gonna. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Like there. No, is, it's nice. I also a, I don't like the fingerprint thing in the back. Oh, it's my favorite. That drives me nuts. I I no. I love it. No way. If the fingerprint scanner is in the back of the phone, I immediately am gonna hate that phone. Immediately. So okay. So so for our update, we have six android two iphone and one windows phone what do you have uh, justin Win we need to get you wait who's phone. on a windows phone? Ju justin is clearly lying Good I, I know justin personally what do you have a lumia justin is a like an apple fanboy well, this is the same phone Ron that's just, a pixel three this is a pixel three yeah so it's a it's a nice phone it's a nice phone but again why is it 300 degrees where do you keep this thing now <laughs> were you yeah, frying to eggs be honest on samsung does a good job i just don't like samsung software stack yeah the no. uh what is it touch whiz what do they call their overlay i forget there's so many now touch whiz and smart flow and uh well and i don't buy android for the hardware either you buy, no, I buy it for, it for the, the google software. service you buy it for the os but okay so what not even the os just what are the, the google I, i'm sorry i just got very distracted by the person using a windows phone in the chat he's clearly lying <laughs> I'm he, using a Palm Trio. Justin Justin is an Apple fanboy. Okay. He, I nice. think he owns a MacBook. Nice. He owns an iPad so Pro, three for I iPhone think. Then. <laughs> nice. Okay. Uh well, the you know, there's uh there's rumors that we're going to see three iPhones in it's the supposed to be an iPhone Pro, I oh, think God. is the naming that they're going to I Honestly, hate their new name. Well, the naming the name scheme the naming scheme iPhone is Max typically X R F 9. The rumors are typically accurate, right? We've yeah. seen for the last, I don't know how many years, that all the myths, all the rumors tend to pan out and be true. But the naming scheme is typically because they use code names in production. Right. That That's the one. Honestly, you tune into keynotes now just to see what they're going to name the damn things because everything else everyone already knows about. There's no secrets. I don't even watch Apple keynotes anymore because I care so little. Really? I, yeah. I, I, I'll watch them on replay. I'm not tuning in live uh, to see Mr. Tim Cook or as Trump would say, Tim Apple. <laughs> 
Uh, <laughs> <laughs> see, see, I'm at the point where I just like I don't want to be on my phone all the time anymore. So yeah. I don't care about upgrading a phone because I just don't want a phone. Oh, we like got a all. hot update from chat. You know? uh, yeah, Drake well, says he likes soup. Drake. 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 He likes soup. What kind of soup, though? What kind of <laughs> soup? Lentil soup. Come on, you can't just lentil be all vague. Lentil soup is good. Oh, yeah. homemade what about split soup? pea? I yeah. like split pea Split pea is delicious. Yeah. Okay. All right. Rumors. Rumors. Uh, rumors are we're going to see three iPhones starting at 5.8 inches. Then they're going to do a 6.1 and then a 6.5. what? Yeah. Three and if, different sizes? Brent, I don't know if you want to share my screen Wait, here. Why? but uh Because, you know, people like different size things in their uh, pockets. Wait, what does that even mean? It means there's going to be three sizes, Ron. What more do you need? This is getting like spaghetti sauce. Why? Well, the, the internals are probably drastically different too. I'm yeah, I'd imagine. But what, what oh, wait, gets me- Oh, but the 6.1 only has two, two cameras. cameras. yeah. So that's the cheaper phone? Can I be honest? I think I also, I hope this isn't the final design. They're talking about matte glass on the back now, but I hate this camera layout. Is that layout. the cheaper phone then? Yeah, it'll that's probably be probably the like uh, XR. the iPhone 10 refresh. Yeah. Okay. Like cheap one. I'm so out of touch. Like there was a time where I knew everything Apple was doing at any given moment, and I am so out of touch. Um, but yeah- Looks like if this is the final camera layout, I don't like it. I don't uh, like the, the big. The Pixel is going to be doing something similar uh, via what they've leaked. Why can't to? they put them in the center of the phone and put them horizontal? It's um, I'm, I'm sure it's a space issue internally. Yeah, oh, maybe. Yeah. I, I, it, it must be. Well, the logic board yeah, runs. The, the triangle the... thing isn't great at all. Yeah, I'm not a fan. I don't like the look of it. But I'm interested in the idea of having like a telephoto and an ultra wide lens. If that's what the that's been a thing. Going. That's been a thing for a while. Um, with the but dual like cameras. I would love to have. It depends on on how the camera will work. But if I had a normal length, a wide, and a, and a telephoto, yeah. Um, I take a lot of pictures with my phones. To be honest, like that's one of the best things about the Pixel is the camera is just yes amazing. Yeah, it might be next to the iPhone the next best camera. Period on a on a mobile device. But the iPhone camera, in my opinion, is, is superior. Uh, what? Yeah. I have done extensive research. I have done studies. You seem to disagree with literally everyone else. Man, I don't, I don't know. know what research you read, but literally everyone else ever agrees since, that the Pixel is better. No, ever since the Pixel hit the market, it took. It decided they're going to self-proclaim best camera phone, right? Best camera. That no, everyone agreed. No. Who? The no. Pixel 3 is better because of software, though, not because no. Are you just hardware. asking people? Get out of here, Sean. Wait, wait, wait. Legitimately, <laughs> is your research like, like, let me post on Facebook. Which camera do you think is better? Okay, first of all, you know I don't have a Facebook. <laughs> Secondly, I have spent, I've had many sleepless nights scouring the dark web, looking at photos. <laughs> This is getting weird. Looking at photos and comparing. Oh, so you like overly process, like face smooth, overly <laughs> yes. contrasty images. Yes, I want I my photos to smooth Be out. as fake as possible. Right. No good color. Right. If I'm going to take a selfie, why wouldn't I want to have the Barbara Walters frame and keep myself <laughs> all looking fresh and smooth? Seriously, you... Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That you're... I mean... I don't know that I've ever been more confident in my life that you're totally wrong about something, which makes <laughs> I me, bet you have. It makes me so happy. Should we <laughs> should we start a Nick Sin list? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Brent, can I get a count on screen of Nick Sins? This is definitely that's definitely one. Oh, Nick is too loud apparently. I'll uh, I'll back away. Um, or you can just turn yeah, your speakers you're so down. Wrong. You're so wrong, man. But um, anyway, there's another. I've got another image pulled up on my screen that shows what the iPhone would look like with the lenses in the middle, it and looks I ridiculous. think I think that looks much better. It looks like a, a cyclops. It uh, actually like looks it. kind of like, I think, dumb. I like it. Brent, am I going to have to lower my volume or are you going to do it over there with your controls I'll, and knobs? I'll do it. Thank you. Because okay, I don't like so it. No one tells me to lower my neither voice. Neither of us really care about the iPhone. You'll care next year when they redo it. I'll care next year when they redo it. There's also rumors of a new watch and a new Apple TV, but those are just going to be little uh, little improvements to the specs, to the CPU. Um and I think they're going to work in HDMI 2.1 support ooh, now, ooh. which is pretty groovy. Ooh, how exciting. I uh, I do love watch. my Apple Watch, though, Ron. Uh, I do. And listen, I know you're jelly. You're super peanut butter uh, I, and jelly I'm with not, my Apple I'm, Watch. I'm not actually an iPhone hater. I think that um, Apple has a much better ecosystem. That makes okay. me jealous. Yes. Um, I There's there's things that just frustrate me too much about iOS. Mm -hmm. That's literally it. It's yeah. um, With the way I use my phone and what I do, it just it annoys me and... I, for a while, I had a work iPhone, mm -hmm. and I would never use it just because I would get so frustrated. USB-C and using my device as a mass storage uh, uh, yeah. device. Those are the two things I'm jelly about Android. Yeah, I like the fact that- And let that me that change the default map app. Yeah, and let me- Maybe let I want to use Google yeah. Map. Maybe I want to use Waze. Right. 
And let me <laughs> say to Siri, hey, play, play something on Spotify. I don't. What if I don't yeah. want Apple Music, right? Because yeah. it's not that. It's just those tiny things that make yeah. a difference. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, we just mentioned we just used the letters USB, so we can maybe move into our eh. meat and potatoes. You want to yeah. go, in, or do you want to talk about this no. awesome Thronos Air that got announced from Acer this week? Uh, that's the I could not care less. At that's all okay. So time. there's I care. I don't really care. And yeah. this it literally doesn't. I don't. It's not even worth mentioning. But I do want to mention it because it's ridiculous. It's dumb. Acer announced a fourteen thousand dollar gaming massage chair. And I've got a photo pulled the, up the, here. That product category is definitely underserved. What are you talking about? Game, Everybody game, wants a gaming massage gaming chair. massage chairs. But it also, I don't know, this is just dumb. This is like, let's do something dumb that no one's ever going to buy. And for those of you who are watching our stream and not listening to the podcast, I'm showing you a picture of this right now. And uh, it is everything you see. The, the chair comes with this massive frame and the monitor and the tray. It's the whole setup. The big obnoxious branding. Yeah, it's massive. Uh, you would need a room to dedicate to this chair. But uh, honestly, if you look at the, uh, the the actual seat, it's just a run of the mill like Walmart massage chair. <laughs> it's really nothing crazy. It's just, uh, you know, uh, a regular old little uh, Walgreens Walmart massage chair. I bet chair. it's still not as comfortable as our. Oh, most uh, certainly is not. $14,000 for a Thronos Air. Or three forty nine for a Forma. When I read it, I thought they announced the Thanos Air massage chair, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, did they make some sort of weird Marvel thing where it's a throne and it's it's? Clean Do you think Thanos way. would even be able to fit in a chair this this size, or would he still be too big for it? I mean, just, this might be the only chair that can snap account. and make it bigger. That's true. That's true. Um, but yeah, get a Forma and like a twenty dollar Homedics massage thing that just plugs into USB and call it a day. And speaking of USB. See what I did there? That's called oh, okay. it's called a segue. Okay, let's do this. All right, strap in, everybody, because uh, uh, I want to I want to preface this. My by mind hurts. <laughs> just, uh... We're all gonna leave with migraines today. Um, this is difficult. I I thought <laughs> I understood USB, and then I started reading about it, and I realized I knew nothing about USB. Well, it's the one thing that you did learn throughout mm. your little adventure mm -hmm. is. They don't make this easy by no. just renaming everything constantly. Yes. Um, everything is getting renamed constantly even and though, shifted. Even though nothing has changed. Okay, so let's, let's go over the current standards. Right. Um, so, you know, the, the hotness right now is USB Type-C. Correct. Um, do you want to you want to you wanna take it to the beginning? You want to go oh, to the beginning? Sure. Let's go. Let's go. To, take let's, us. Take us on a journey. Let's do the origin story of USB. Did you have to write down origin story there? I did write down origin story. I wrote something I want to ask you when we're done talking about the bit, if you must know. Okay. <laughs> okay. A little behind the scenes. Um, you want to ask chat what their favorite USB standard is? <laughs> that's exactly what I wrote down. <laughs> I want to know what's your favorite USB. I have one. I know my okay. favorite USB. Guys, let us know what your favorite USB standard is. <laughs> Titillating. Um, so when USB <laughs> rolled out... <laughs> and so I think the most important thing we have to realize, right? Right off the top, is that there are two main components to USB. You've got the version and the connector type, right? Correct. So when yeah. we refer to USB 1.0, 1.1, 2.0, 2.1, 3.0, those are the versions. It's a standard that they created right. for now, like the protocol and, yes. and what gives you speed yes. and all those the things. Yes, the standard or the version dictates speed and power. That's it. I love power. The power, the type, your type A, your type B, your type C. The type is merely the connector, the plug, right. the design. And different components use different designs uh, for various reasons. So we have the version, we have the type. 1.0 was big, 2.0 was even bigger, right? That was huge. It was huge. <laughs> huge. You're going to love it. Uh, everyone's printer for like, t you know, 20 years used. 2.0. Nothing's type. worse than when you need one of those cables and you don't have it. Yes. And you spend and you like have to, hours yeah. looking for it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I have yeah. like a microphone that uses it for some reason. Really? It's like an Audio Technica condenser mic that is that. Um, I have a da actually in my DAC too. I, that's a weird type thing. Type B? Yeah. We're of course referring to type B. Now, the USB plug as you probably know it, right? When you think USB, you think of that rectangle that goes in your charger like your iPhone brick, right? 
that rectangle is USB type A. That is the standard. That is the baseline. Right. That is the big, the, the big, world's the world's most cheese. frustrating cable of all time. The world, right. Just for the record, guys, it's holes up. Holes up. If you remember holes up. I've never heard that before. It's always holes up, Ron. Huh. Yeah. As long as you remember to keep the holes up, you'll always plug the USB uh, cable in properly. I got a bit of a problem here. What's your problem? Well, it's hard to tell because it looks like there's holes on both sides. I know they're plugged. But... It, uh, yes. I'm glad you said that. It will look like your USB <laughs> plug has holes on both <laughs> sides. Not help but That's I can assure helpful. you, only one's a true hole. <laughs> that is not helpful. <laughs> you might have to do some feeling around. <laughs> But I could assure you. It's not helpful at all. <laughs> I wasn't kidding when I, in the, during the cold open when I said I've, I can't be the only one. Every that's night done I go this. to, so I have an NVIDIA Shield tablet that has a micro USB cable. Yeah. And it's about like four minutes of in the, because it's always dark. Like my wife's already asleep. Yep. Kids asleep. Yep. I can't put a flashlight on. Mm -hmm. And it, it's probably like two minutes for me to plug yeah, the cable. You're no, yeah. You're feeling around the, when you put it in th this way, it's wrong. Flip it over, it's wrong. Yeah. And put it back How in is and that? it's right. How is that possible? <laughs> Every time. Every single time. I actually have micro USB cables set up. Uh, I have about 900 of yeah, them. Well, I have, I have a recurring Amazon shipment. They just come monthly <laughs> automatically because I'm going to break six to nine a month trying to plug things in. Also, chat's favorite USB is type B, like unanimously. Oh, oh really? The uh, printer cable, yeah. type B, the, the, the square, the squarish one. My personal favorite is the mini usb 2.0 mini usb it was synonymous with devices like the motorola razor remember the you know the one i'm yeah. talking about before micro usb there was mini usb it was a little tiny bit bigger and uh that's my favorite usb oh, tell, tell us more i just like it it's cute <laughs> <laughs> wow i can't believe i just said that <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so where, right. where's the actual part of the problem? I think most people know this stuff, so this was not helpful at all. Um, <laughs> well, no, not everyone knows what we're about to drop, though. We're about to drop the real knowledge, okay? okay? okay. When USB 3.0 came out, it was short-lived because shortly after USB 3.0 came out, 3.1 came out. 3.1 is when they decided to start calling things uh, super speed. Right. USB cables. And then like when you had a PC, you'd have a couple 3.1 ports right. that were a different color, and then you'd have regular 3.0 ports, and then you'd have 2.0 ports. Right. It was kind of messy at first, at least on the PC side of things. Right. So when USB 3.1 came out, they decided they're going to absorb 3.0. There's no more 3.0. Right. Eventually, There's... we got all 3.1s. Right. It became 3.1, and then they realized we can make 3.1 a little bit faster. But it's not quite a whole new design or a whole new standard. So we're going to have 3.1 Gen 1 and 3.1 Gen 2. Ooh. Okay. Then the USB or the, what do they call themselves? The USB International Forum or there's a group of people. I think it's like five guys. The they USB might be, boys. I think they're in the Illuminati. They sit around, they wear <laughs> like robes and they discuss the USB and is they it, decide how they're the Universal in. Standards Board? Yeah. That might as well. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. The USB. Um, <laughs> so USB 3.2 came out, Ron, Ooh. and they immediately decided we're going to retire 3.1. This was this. There wasn't a whole lot of space here, by the way. Um, now there is no more 3.1, even though a lot of motherboards and a lot of manufacturers will still report it, re refer to 3.1. This is why I'm confused because yeah. I, I actually, I, and I think it's because there's just too many variations. Yes. Um, I've prepared an infograph. I think this will help our viewers understand okay. it. And if you're listening to the podcast, I highly suggest tuning into the live stream because I've got graphics up. It's going to make sense. I promise. You if haven't you, really said much of anything so far, so I hope. I'm relying on my com graphics here, Ron. <laughs> I'm relying on my graphics. Uh, so 3.1 Gen 1, which was formerly 3.0, is now 3.2 Gen 1. Okay. And the speed tops out at 5 gigabit. Okay. Okay. Then wow, 3.1 Gen 2 is now is now 3.2 Gen 2. Right. Up to 10 gigabit. Okay. That's Type C. When we refer to the new connector, right. Type C. Type C as we know it now. 3.1 Gen 2. 3.2 uh, 3 Gen 3, 2. 3.2 Used to Gen be 3.1 Gen 2, Ron. Now it's 3.2 <sighs> Gen 2. I hate this. <laughs> and it, it's it's insanity is what it is. Uh, but yes, Type C. You go to 3.5. Like. Uh, they're, they're going to skip 3.5 and they're going to go right to 3.6. Okay. Yeah, that's what I've heard. Wait, uh, what is this 3.2 Gen 2X2? Oh, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> you see, they decided if we take, if we make two lanes in the cable, 
If okay. we roll out a special cable that supports two lanes. Oh, okay. it's two we can by do, two? Yeah, it's two by two. We can do two 10 gigabit lanes and get 20 gigabit out of the cable. Does anything have that? Yes. I, I really okay. hope yes. we get up to two by fours at one point. Well, Brent, I'm <laughs> glad you mentioned that because we are now, <laughs> this week, they announced <laughs> USB 4.0. So, Ron, they skipped 3.3 wow. to 3.9. Wow. We're taking a leap forward all the way to 4.0. Okay. When is that? When do I get that? For, I don't know. Uh, I don't know when it's going to start. We're going to start seeing it in devices. It's but like twice as fast, basically. It is right. It's it's twice as fast as the the Gen 2 2x2. Two two. I thought I read, too, that it doesn't really require new technology. No, you're absolutely right. It's still a Type-C connector. Yeah. Uh, okay, but it's now up to 40 gigabit, which is amazing, which is amazing. Why is this so amazing? Because now there's no advantage for Thunderbolt. Thank the Lord. Well, I, there's still differences with Thunderbolt. Well, yeah, I mean, you could daisy chain. Um, well, so the thing I'm curious about is one of the cool parts about Thunderbolt is that it was essentially like a direct PCIe connection. Right. You could get you could external right. GPUs and displays. So I wonder if in real world scenarios, if Thunderbolt has lower latency because of it the does. lack of the overhead. It absolutely does. So in things like um, maybe like a MIDI controller or like... Ron, like, I've been using a 2.0 MIDI controller at home where I have a Firewire 800 I, mixer that well, is still just fine. But well, Firewire... Like Thunderbolt had the advantage of a product lower latency. Lower latency, right? You could, you know, your mixer can yeah. bring everything in independently. But there's got to be like scenarios where Thunderbolt is still a preferred um, connector for where that is important. Yeah, maybe it, maybe really large rated storage systems with multiple inputs or something like. There's, yeah, there's got to. Like, yeah, it's someplace. still a different external graphics. Maybe like. Yeah. There's there's. There are scenarios where a high throughput, low latency connection is, I, uh, is better. I, I think at the end of the day, there's no denying that Thunderbolt is a much bigger deal in the Apple community. It's a niche uh, port, basically. Right. It's built on the display, the mini display port connector, um, which is strange. Well, well no, on now Apple it's side. USB 3. On Apple side, on right. Apple side. Yeah, correct. On Apple side. Um, but yeah, I mean, the problem is not a lot of companies are designing Thunderbolt compatible products because you have to pay Intel for the certification, the validation, right. which is costly. Um, so, you know, uh, I'm really psyched for USB 4 because there's now not, there's really not, it bridges the gap between yeah. USB and Thunderbolt, which is pretty exciting. My favorite part of Type-C or getting Type-C phone was just the um, power delivery um, yes. Charging that you can do. Yes. Um, being able to charge my phone stupid fast in the car or with even with a battery. I have a power delivery battery pack that I love that charges my phone in like 30 minutes. Right. And there's a special symbol right on the port that you could tell if it's power delivery uh, or if it yeah. has the power delivery feature. Mm -hmm. and, and USB power delivery supports up to 100 watts, which is enough to power uh, like a handful of laptops. Where it's confusing, though, are there apparently uh, type A ports that support the power delivery can too. We, can we just get rid it of it? Requires type a, a special cable. It does. So I'm, right, because we learned today that the version and the type don't are irrelevant. <laughs> they are not the same. So you can have an old school looking Type A or Type B cable. I had a One Plus Three phone, or mm -hmm. my wife has it still. Mm -hmm. That is Type C, but USB two. Yes. I think yes. Uh, so it's slow, but it's yes. a, but I still you know you get the nice cable that you can put in either direction. Right. I, I just want Type C connectors on everything. Right. Except right. that it's not. And I, I'm blaming Apple for not like standardizing this already because the only reason it hasn't become standard is because they're still using the lightning connector on the watch. Correct. The but the lightning connector is pretty solid and I love it. Except that every lightning cable. But if they constantly. if they just switch the phone not to true. USB C, then the iPad Pro will be, the MacBook will be. Right. Well, so yeah, it's your switch. So yeah. like so everything will just be USB C. So here's the problem though. That, like I have a couple devices at home, some wireless headphones and stuff that charge via type C, but only charge with a type C to type A cable. I can't plug it in with a type C to type C cable. Right. It won't charge. Like, so like not with the one the brick that came with your Pixel? No. That's type C no, it doesn't work. That's weird. Um so I actually have to have like in my go bag I have a type C to type C cable, a type C to type A cable, uh mini usb to right. type a cable like i want it's type c still hasn't standardized everything because of these problems right like, and i and, and that's i'm glad you bring this up because the cables are important and i will fight i will fist fight anyone who's <laughs> who argues with me on that the cables are important the cable version the cable revision 
is just as important as the version type, the connector type, and the device you're oh, connecting it when to. The, when the, I think it was the original Pixel 2 came out, there was a Google employee that was reviewing um, all the Type-C cables on Amazon. Yeah. Because there's a, like a resistor that has to yes. be inside. Yes. And he was testing them and like literally leaving Amazon reviews and had a blog to I, say which ones that. were bad or I which ones were that. good. I remember that. And uh, iPhone users, stop buying your $6 lightning cables from 7-Eleven. They are a problem. So are the stop regular it. ones. No, they're not. I, my wife would go through a lightning cable, buy an Apple one every Well, your every, wife needs to take more months. care of her electronics. And I'll tell her that to her face. Honey, that's not made of, of money, That's Ron, more of like a strain relief problem, though, than the actual connector. It's That's true. Thank you, Brent. Yeah. People are using their phone in bed, it's plugged in, and they're twisting and turning, Actually, and all... the cable takes a lot so of the, wear. So the strain into relief it. is bad. Even the old iPod, large cables used to break on me constantly. So just no, Apple App trying Apple's to make the cables too pretty. Apple's strain relief historically has been it, horrible. But they fixed that. A couple yeah. years ago, they started putting much stronger, um, you know, the part of the cable near the connector. better. I'll give yeah, you that. they have upgraded that. that okay. Anyway. Okay. So uh, we see some suggestions. Anchor power line cables are good. Yeah, they are. I agree. I use those a lot. They are. But again, the cables are important. Okay. And, USB uh, hype. Yeah. I guess. USB, uh, USB 4 looks pretty awesome. Looks pretty promising. We're excited for it. It's going to be great. Okay. Can't wait. Let's let Brent talk about something. He had something he was excited about today. Yeah. Because we, you know, we like to talk Bef games. Before well. our offbeat story of the week, yeah. Brent, Brent. Brent wants to ride the hype train. So right. Nintendo had their Nintendo Direct yesterday. Let's Woo! see if I can get the focus. Yay. Nope. Yeah. Okay. Um, and there was a lot of stuff, but some big things. Uh, Overwatch is coming out on the Switch. Oh, that's Sweet. cool. Yeah. Uh, locked at 30 frames, though. So eh, It's a Switch. It's right? a console. You kind of expect it. I mean, it. at least it's stable. Um, and then what was the other big one? Oh. So we were talking about our top 10 games two oh, well, weeks ago. Yeah. Oh, the, our perfect games. Two perfect episodes yeah. ago. 10 out of 10 games. Um, and Ron and I both mentioned Super Mario World is like our best game of all time. Yeah. Right. That is now available on the Switch through Nintendo Switch Online Super Enter Nintendo Entertainment System, finally, which is the worst name ever. But <laughs> Finally, I can play that game on yet another Nintendo console. Right. Do I have to buy it again? No, so you just have to have a Nintendo Switch Online subscription, which gets you online for everything else, and it comes with it free. Yeah, that's actually um, really cool. Uh, I'm glad they're bringing those yeah. games back to it. Yeah, the lineup is like really good too, because the NES one was a little like sketchy lineup, but this one has Super Mario World, Yoshi's Island, Super Metroid, Super Mario Kart, uh, Zelda: Link to the Past. So it's like solid. Every everything you'd actually want to definitely want to replay. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, oh, that's great. I mean, especially because there's not a single Nintendo game you really want to play online. It's nice that they're bundling <laughs> something with the paid online service. Well, and and the cool thing is too, you can you can play online these old Super Nintendo games, like with another friend. Oh, that's pretty cool. Really? Yeah. yeah so that's part of the feature. So, like two people in Super Mario World. Yeah, well, in Super Mario World, you switch off, but yeah, you can play oh, okay. if the game supports So it's it. like local multiplayer, but over the internet right. and whatever those games support. Right. Yeah. Uh, I see people are hyped about Animal Crossing as well. Yeah, Animal Crossing is going to be good. Animal that Crossing. That doesn't come out until around yeah. Cyberpunk. What the hell is Animal Crossing? Well, oh, oh let, me, let me educate Educate you. me on Animal Crossing. So imagine. A world. Where you, you move into a town. Okay. And. Affluent. Uh, you know, not, not when you move in. Okay. Um, and you get to purchase a house and hang out with a bunch of animals and mm -hmm. like a farm or and then, uh, it's, like a, a, it's not like a farm. A, it's like a small like split a level that gets taken over by animals. It's a small town. It's a, it's a small, small town. town. Okay. Uh, you get to go fishing and okay. then sell the fish you get to purchase new parts for your house and just hang out with your friends. My friends being the animals. C correct. Okay. Yeah. H hence animal crossing. All right. So there's a game. Let yeah. me get, just want to break this down. There's a game where you buy a crappy house guys it's happening raise it's happening. a ton of animals talk to no humans it's and happening. then i guess farm these animals and sell them to people on no. the street <laughs> to, to do upgrades to your crappy you home so this animals. is what the game oh is this like. all right thank you all right <laughs> so that raccoon actually puts you into a lot of debt for buying your house as soon as you show up he's a pretty nice guy wait though. the raccoon is the real estate agent yes. uh and kind of the and yeah this, 
okay. store owner. He's, he looks he's, shysty, by the way. He's a nice I'm getting guy. a strong Tom, used Yeah, now car. he's going to give you a phone that you're going to probably have to pay off, too. Tom Nook is a nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a phone in it? So yeah. the raccoon is out to get you. You got to watch out for those raccoons. So in this version, though, they they announced yesterday that they added crafting. So you can, like, craft stuff now. I actually mm-hmm. really like Animal Crossing. It's super chill. Um, I thought my favorite way to play it was on the 3DS because it was, like... What? Kind of that good, like before bed, kind of just you know, kind of chill. I want to see some other animals. I've only seen raccoons. Where are all the other animals? And do the raccoons ever leave your house? Or do they stay around like loan sharks waiting to get paid back? No, he has a store. <laughs> oh, okay. Store. Of course, he has. It's a, probably a front. He doesn't operation. pressure you though. Yeah, because he sends the goons. He probably sends other animals you, to your house. You can pick apples. You can go fishing. Do you have to build a home defense system to prevent <laughs> against big animal predators from coming in? No, actually, all the animals just kind of walk into your house as they want to and say hi. So it's like an open door policy. Brent, what kind of person plays this game? Tell me about, like, is this a I, game? I play this game. Of, well, of course, Ron. I know you would play this Literally, game. Literally, almost everyone loves this game, so you're having your moment. <laughs> your I'm so your excited. Moment. This is my moment to be hated by the <laughs> Animal Crossing is one of the most revered yeah. Like cute, adorable, just like I didn't say I hated re- it. I relaxing just don't understand. games I, of I, all time. To be uh, honest, like of all the Nintendo stuff that was announced the other day, there were definitely like better things that were announced. But mm-hmm. I am most hyped for. Is this. this a Nintendo title? Yes, it is. Yeah. All right, so it's probably well well developed. You can play then. it on your iPhone. Does that make you hate? I it less? didn't like the mobile version. It does not make me like it anymore. <laughs> um, I don't know. I I I don't see the appeal. But that's just me. It's like Minecraft Lite. It's like Minecraft and Sims. Kind yeah. Of. Where does it go? What is the achievement? What is no, the objective? You, just, you build the town up. You build a town up. You get to donate to a museum and then go look at the fish that you caught. So, so, so oh, like, there's God, this important bro. aspect of games. Like, um, if you ever played, like, Destiny or World of Warcraft, half of the game for most people is just playing dress up. Yeah. And Animal Crossing is all dress up. Yeah. You can design your own outfits, mm-hmm. buy a shovel. Mm-hmm. You think the people that- Get attacked by bees- riveting i would also add this game to a great game for couples to play together yeah uh, definitely oh because all the exciting stuff that you just mentioned could happen to you and your lover. well it's cute so your wife will play with (laughs) oh okay it's just not bloody and gory it's a relaxing (laughs) kind of like play at your own pace sure kind of game i uh, i know what i'll be doing all weekend (laughs) Uh, i think we need to bring rack oblivious with nick and make him play like stardew or something you'd have to put me in a chair and then wire like two loaded handguns to my head for me to sit there and play. I don't think I could sit down and play Animal Crossing for an entire hour. I'd lose my mind. I'm just, I, I, the, the game, the, it's just meaningless to me. But you know what? I welcome the hate. I mean, so is your life, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is true. Any other Nintendo news, Brent? Um, that's pretty much it. Okay. New Smash characters. There's five more if that game didn't have enough characters in it already. Dude, I, I don't care Super about Smash. Smash. I, Smash is one of those games that I do get a lot of hate on because I just hate it. I was playing it last night, actually, guys. I really hate that game. Yeah. Why? It just doesn't... I, I like more classic fighting games. It just doesn't resonate. It feels sloppy and um, too hectic. And Do you feel it's a well-balanced game? I was having this debate with some friends last night. No, because I'm terrible, so just me getting destroyed regardless of You're what I play You're just a button with. masher who hopes for the best. I find up. the controls are just confusing. I guess because I haven't played a lot of it. It's just... It's not intuitive compared to normal normal kind of like fighting games and stuff. I enjoy so. it. I was playing last night. I was playing Pac-Man. I was that's Pac-Man. Of course you do. I, I did want to touch on one story before the offbeat news yeah, story, ahead, which is it. just Facebook is doing a dating site, which just in the light of everything <laughs> that's happened ever in the history of the world, it was the worst thing they could do right now. Right. They just got sued for $5 billion. <laughs> oh, by the way. $5 billion. There's some information that we don't have about you. Right. What if, hear me out, yeah. what if we got that information? Right. And then we we now have it. Right. right. Like, I, I just don't, I don't understand. Yeah. We, we, they, they are, yeah. it is supposedly separate, separate profiles. It's not connected mm-hmm. to your Facebook. Mm-hmm. One sure. Nice, yeah. One nice thing about Facebook's new dating app is that uh, it won't match you with friends or friends of friends. So if you're living some kind of secret double life, you don't have to worry about being exposed. <laughs> it, wait, it won't? No. It is that won't. normally a problem? It is a feature. Uh, yeah, I mean, you've never... Listen, I, I've been on I, all the dating apps. I've got no shame. Okay. I had the Holy Trinity. Wait, for the record, yeah. I met my wife, Ani Harmon. I met my girlfriend on Hinge. So I'm not I'm not anti-dating. Now, I met her long ago enough that I had to like 
we had to when we met family we we're like we, we met through friends yes you're dude i'm so glad you mentioned like, that like we yes. were i was in that era yes it was shameful we didn't want anyone to know absolutely <laughs> you would in hushed tones you'd be like actually we met on eHarmony. <laughs> <laughs> like, to the close people, do, that is such a yeah. great observation. See but, see, but now you can just say, "Oh, we met on Facebook," and everybody's like, "Oh, uh, okay. all right, that's kind of brilliant, right?" <laughs> I have normal. A, I know someone that met um, on Facebook before it went like mass market. That's married. Mm -hmm. uh, it happens because it they went happen. to the same yeah. school and yeah. like. I mean, meeting on eHarmony is probably better than meeting on. It's Tinder. the most wholesome dating site. It I guess. seems pretty wholesome, but Tinder's pretty wholesome these days. <laughs> I've so is farmersonly.com. Farmersonly.com. <laughs> yes. My eye is like twitching. You're having a twitch? It, I don't know if you can see it. It's just like. You're having a September twitch? I'm uh, stealing For our Nick. audio <laughs> listeners, Ron's eye is twitching. <laughs> Thank you. For, is it the left eye or the right eye? Give them a so, picture. So, yeah, the, Facebook. Facebook's got a dating app. Uh, you know, check it out if, you, if that's, you know, if you're into that kind of thing. But also at the same time, all, no, all jokes aside, don't be shame. Don't no shame in how you uh, how no you shame. meet your partner. You meet them on Hinge, Tinder, Facebook, Craigslist, in an AOL chat room. It doesn't matter. World of Warcraft, <laughs> <laughs> wherever you meet that eBay, maybe a sale gone <laughs> sour. However, however it works out, have no shame. Because guess what? Everyone's on these apps. Everyone's on them. Xbox Live. Xbox Live, right? <laughs> um, everyone's on dating. World apps. of Warcraft Classic. Have no shame. Waiting in queue together. Own it. To kill Hogger. And if you need help making your profile, call me up. I'll help you make your profile. I'll give you a perspective. <laughs> uh, and I think we could segue that into our uh, offbeat story of the day, yeah? Right. Segue. This is your part of the show. I don't... Uh, so, speaking of apps and meeting people, in the news this week, uh, and I want to end with a, a message uh, uh, to our listeners, but in the news this week was a, this a mom in Michigan... Who bought an iPhone from an online seller through an app? Buy sell apps are super popular. Let go, offer up. I use them a lot. I've had great success. Knock on wood. I've never been, you know, assaulted or ripped off. But um, this mother bought her daughter an iPhone. She saved up six months to buy it. She met the seller in person. They gave her the phone. She gave them the cash. They want the seller uh, ran away. They opened the box and found two bars of soap. And uh, okay, what flavor? Dial soap. So, needless to say, whoa, whoa, she won't whoa, be able whoa. to do any dialing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have, I have some questions. Um, first of all, this was not a brand new iPhone. No, the box was <laughs> open. Okay, so she knew this was not a brand new iPhone. Right. So, Nick, theoretical situation here. I've got it up here, Brent. If you want to. Theoretical situation here. You're buying something used. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you're buying a phone, which could have a cracked screen or a scratch or not turn on. Uh, right. What right. is the first thing you do? Show first me thing. the goods, lady. Show me the goods. You would turn it on. Uh huh. I would test it out. I'm not. So that's 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 the reason I really wanted to do this story. Okay. Here's the woman opening the How box. How many times do you think some this person tried this? Here's the woman that got ripped and they're off. And like they're they're in a parking lot and they're right. like, oh, let me see. Uh, uh yeah. Yeah. If you're spending $450 with a total stranger, let's have that person show the goods. Is let's that, check it out. Let's test it. Isn't a bar of soap much heavier than a phone? Apparently, it's the perfect weight. Yeah. <laughs> when, when I used to work at Apple at the bar, as you guys know, uh, we'd get people that would return iPads in cellophane, open it up to find bricks or a phone book. Um, so that it, it, people would shrink wrap boxes and with products of the same weight um but guys as buy sell apps become more and more popular <laughs> let go offer up craigslist apparently the runner just start, the the seller just ran away yeah the seller bolted after she handed the box yeah <laughs> got don't put the cash in the person's hands no. until you've seen and inspected the product if the person feels more comfortable holding it have them turn oh, it on. Have, I have them show it on. And if it's questionable, tip, do it What's at the police station. Yeah, hey, thank you. Yeah. Man. That was the other tip. <laughs> My police station in town has yes. has a spot for yes. do, doing these things. Yes. Some police stations will actually have a spot with cameras all over the place yep. and a big bright light. Yep. And it'll have a sign that says buy sell app meeting spot. Which is awesome. Yes. That's where you tell people to meet you. Not in a, an alleyway. Not uh, you know not at a Popeyes. Not at a Popeyes, although I've Bought yeah, many go to a Chick Fil A. Come on, in a Popeyes parking lot. Um, but yeah, that's that's the big takeaway here. Be smart. If if a deal seems too good to be true, it is. Everyone could Google a, a product to see what it's worth. 
So typically, if something's too good to be true, it is. I wish it wasn't possible to do that. It's so hard to find a good deal on anything it, used. It's very hard these days. Everyone's trying to get that, you know, that big uh, top dollar for their used crap. And, uh, and you know, a lot of, you know, what's annoying too about selling on these apps are the low ballers. I've put, I've put up items for like three hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, I'll been give offered. you eighteen dollars. I've got eighteen dollars and. Uh, Do you have trades? Look at my profile. I have a bunch of pairs of jeans. I've got some old <laughs> Mustang rims. It's the worst. If you can use any old Mustang rims, yeah. I got some old Janko jeans. If you want to trade that for that MacBook, it's the worst. One of my favorite subreddits is called Choosing Beggars, which is um, screenshots of of a lot of things like that, like people selling stuff and people giving ridiculous offers and then flipping out at the person because they claim it's for their child's party and they <laughs> promise it to the kid and now right. you're ruining his birthday. You're ruining the, the birthday and this kid's childhood is ruined. Or, or can you, uh, yeah, uh, I'll, I'll pay full uh, full price, but can do you, uh, can you drive about 400 miles to right. drop it off? Can you, uh, you got it delivered. I don't have I, a car. I lost my license. I'm out of state. An unfortunate buy-sell app incident. But, uh, you know, we didn't get a chance to do a Reddit thread of the week. So, Ron, maybe you can just plug that awesome subreddit one more time. Uh, people can... Choosing Beggars. Choosing Beggars. Choosing Beggars. It's a it's a great, um, pretty much, it's not, it's like very, I guess you should say it's a work-friendly subreddit. I was going like to say, it's... is it safe for work? Yeah, it's, it's mostly screenshots of like Facebook messages of like, artists who have people who want them to do stuff for free and, and stuff like that. It's funny. Very cool. Um, big, anyone else? Big uh, fans over here. Anyone else have anything for the show? Or are we uh, going to put a bow on this We puppy? talked about Twitch. Uh, Android 10 is great. Um, still undecided on the gestures. I might talk about that next week after I play with them more. Cool. Um, talked about Ninja, Nintendo, Soap, Apple, which I don't care about. Well, uh, Apple has a big announcement, but we uh, we also do too. Right, Brent? Main Gear. Yeah, that actually next is week. It's not just Apple's not the only company dropping bombs next week. Brent, what's going on next week in the world of main gear? I think all he's going to say is we have a big announcement. We have a special announcement <laughs> on Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is exciting, man. Uh, this third, this coming Thursday, September twelfth. What time are we going to stream our special announcement? Ooh, when do you want to stream the special <laughs> announcement? Uh, All day. 3 well, p.m. How's that sound? No, we're going to do it earlier. Maybe like 6 a.m. Mm, 6 a.m.? Right. Yeah. You're yeah. coming here at 6 a.m.? Put on your track no. suits. Put on your Adidas track no, suits. Follow, we'll announce the stream on our social media. We're at yeah. Minger. If you want to be the first to find out about some very amazing cool amazing news, um, you're going to want to tune into this. This is going to be... Awesome. So that's we, Thursday, September twelfth. Yes. Can we? Can we? Tell Way people, better than the iPhone announcement. Can we tell people that it's a product launch? No. Is, no. Okay. <laughs> Did I just ruin everything for everybody? We can cut that out of the podcast. Um, I just asked if we can tell people that. Of course, that's not what it is. It's it's bigger. Well, and I better. did say products. So products. Oh, We're easy. announcing something. Uh, we're going to re-announce the new iPhone. And <laughs> we will also be less cryptic about this on Thursday, yes, so you should I, tune in. We're announcing Absolutely. something that may or may not have a Main Gear logo on it. Yes? Sure. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Exciting. <laughs> I'll be there in spirit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think uh, that's it. Oh, by the way, so we still have our Gamer Days promo going yeah, on. Yeah, we do. Um, so amazing bundle you get up to three hundred dollars in streaming hardware with an i9 you get a, a webcam a microphone an amazing stream deck mini um and then all the way down to an i5 where you get uh to choose between a microphone and a webcam tons of free games mm -hmm. uh this is one of our biggest sales of the year so if you're looking to buy a desktop i think now is the time yeah. because this is honestly like this is Probably the craziest sale I've uh, we've yeah because you're getting the best time. of gamer days and back to school. It's like a sweet overlap. It's, it's just, amazing, and, and it's probably only going to be happening for another couple weeks. Yep. So take advantage. We've literally have two sales happening at one time. Give me a call. Shoot me an email. Nick at mangear com. Let's get you that dream PC. Uh, this has been fun. Eh. Yeah. Well, I have to say that USB. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go home and fondle some mini USB cables. <laughs> we'll see you guys next week. Peace.